What's up guys, you're watching University TV. I'm Shayna and today I'm taking a closer look at Winthrop University. Why don't you guys join me on my tour? Winthrop University is located in South Carolina's Rock Hill, a community of more than 50,000 close to Charlotte, North Carolina, which is the fastest growing city in the Southeast. Yeah, Charlotte's just up the road. There's plenty to do. There's tons of parks. There's um, the Winthrop Lake that's just off campus and um, actually technically still a part of campus. You can go there and run or walk or bike and just hang out with your friends. There's a golf course out there. I play a little bit of golf. I try at least. And um, it's just a really good place to go. And it's just, you know, within walking distance of campus. Winthrop's tree-lined Lakeside Campus is in one of five historic districts in Rock Hill. The ruling style of architecture is Neo-Georgian, and many people find it so beautiful that tons of television shows and motion pictures have been filmed on campus. 325-acre research and recreational complex includes a greenhouse, a lake, the Winthrop Coliseum, state-of-the-art athletic fields, and a golf course. Winthrop has over 6,000 students enrolled from 44 states and 47 countries, with more than 1,000 freshmen and 31% minority students. The male-female ratio is two girls for every guy. Every prospective student has their own personal admissions counselor, so that counselor will be the one who is responsible for reviewing the student's file, and so they would have gotten to know the student and be able to know the student's strengths and weaknesses and really be able to make a more informed judgment about the student's admissibility. Incoming freshmen on average hold a high school GPA of 3.6, an SAT of 1053, and an ACT of 22. South Carolina residents will pay $16,000 for tuition, room and board, and out-of-state students $25,000. Winthrop's 37 undergraduate and 25 graduate degrees are offered through more than 100 programs of study. It is one of 16 schools in the nation with nationally accredited art, music, theater, and dance programs. And as I'm emphasizing the undergraduate research because our students are doing incredible things. Some of our seniors are working on Alzheimer's research, cancer research, and we've had them go to national conferences and international conferences and people come up to them afterwards and say, well, what doctorate program are you in? And they'll say, I'm actually an undergraduate. I want to stay here because our research program is awesome. I mean, they've given me so many opportunities that most students never get to do as an undergrad. And so that faculty has just told me that those same opportunities are open even more as a graduate student. And I, the best thing is I get to continue working in the lab that I'm in. And I'm really excited about that. The Bachelor of Science in Information Design degree program is the only one of its kind in the nation, combining multiple courses from different departments and colleges, including related concepts from graphic design, marketing, mass communication, and computing. Try this on for size, a Bachelor of Science with a distinction in leadership. Regardless of your course of study, if you're willing to take some extra classes, faculty will help you tailor an individualized plan that meets your interests and career choices. You'll get to interact with leaders from all segments of society, and when you receive your degree, it will have the honored addition of a distinction in leadership. Of the 282 full-time faculty members, 230 hold a terminal degree. The student-to-faculty ratio is 14 to 1, and the average class size is 21. It's a great place to come experience um, your four years of college and figure out who you are as a person without having um, pressures from home necessarily trying to influence you. Like you, They really try to teach you to think for yourself here, to critically analyze what you believe, and look at it from different perspectives, and do it. Um, get her done. So Winthrop Eagles compete at the NCAA Division I level in the Big South Conference. They have 15 intercollegiate teams, eight women and seven men. <laughs> If you're green, and I really hope that you are, you'd want to know that Winthrop received the best college recycling program award from the state of South Carolina. And they even have a whole floor in a residence hall devoted to environmental awareness. Winthrop has three traditional halls, plus three suite style and two apartment complexes that are either co-ed or single sex. I lived in Richardson Residence Hall, and each floor is themed for different, like one is Healthy Living You, where basically the, uh, the residence director of, that, of the floor is uh, tries to help make sure people make uh, healthy decisions with whether eating habits or physical exercise. There's, couple, there's two honors floors where people, they have a uh, real stringent uh, quiet hours so people will make sure they can maintain a certain GPA. Every residence hall has something like that. I lived in a residence hall for two years. It was a really good experience. I met a lot of people. You're up and down the halls, you're in the bathroom at the same time. It's the same people every day and 
It was a really good experience. I'm still friends with some of the people that I lived with on my hall. We took all the shower curtains off the, all the showers in the floor, and we put them down hall, and we basically had like a little slip and slide going down hall, just to release stress right before exams. So it's one of those like random things our residence, our residence director decided to let us do. No doubt you'll find where you belong with over 170 clubs and organizations, including fencing, rock climbing, frisbee, and skydiving. There are 17 Greek fraternities and sororities, 30 plus intramural sports, three student publications, and a nationally recognized student programming board. So if leadership and extracurriculum activities is what you're looking for, be sure to consider Winthrop University. Thanks so much for joining us here in Rock Hill. Hey, no, I'm right here. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us here at Winthrop University. I'm Shayna, see you guys next time.